the American Rescue Plan funding application for utility repairs and expansion. Mr. Dowd? Yes, sir. The American Rescue Plan provides funding for local municipalities for their water and wastewater uh, infrastructure. Lowndes County in conjunction with Carter Sleep has identified several projects that meet this criteria. The total of these projects is $10,500,000. We would be seeking a grant for half of that as there is a matching uh, portion from the county. So the amount of the grant would be, grant would be five million two hundred fifty thousand. Staff recommends approval for Carter and Sloop to submit this funding application. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Stout? Mr. Stout, does have projects been identified for this one? Yes, sir. That that uh, list should be in your packet there. But there's uh, the LAS expansion. There's some bypass pumps at some of our major lift stations uh, where we have the largest pumps at. There's a couple of uh, stationary cranes that sit there, and then uh, there is a water main extension there on there also. Yes, sir. I, I saw that list. I, I should have asked my question differently, but do we have to stay with the list, the project list? Is it mandatory that the list has been made and we have to stay with it or can we go elsewhere? I would think, depending on the, the situation, I don't know that it limits us on that. I will find that out and see. Uh, and, and again, the proposed amount may not come through as a total for that, so we'll be looking at that also. Thank you. I would just like to say, I, I know in particular, I think uh, Commissioner Wiser Maker is referring to in the pool. The water main extension from Valdale to McMillan. Currently, we haven't uh, changed the character to reflect it being a rural residential. I'm still uh, reflecting agriculture and to run that much water pipe along that way at this time, you know, we possibly can use that funding elsewhere. Well, I think that as we've had some discussions, we have to keep in mind that we have talked about in the last several years about the looping of these systems to build out redundancy and support from one section to another section and that really is where this project comes in at uh, in, in all honesty regardless of what the character area is this is the route that's been chosen to carry that looping between is it the Bemis? It would be between the northern loop for that would tie in over near Lowndes Middle School. Right. And so with that though, what that when you do that, you then would have justification to look deeper into um, the comprehensive plan from the standpoint of do you have the proper character areas identified because you will have water and sewer there. But the purpose of that extension is for the redundancy in those two areas is to loop it together. Is that be correct, Mr. Tower? That is correct. And, and another concern that I have also, I know we got the Navajo deal that can use some more relief in some type of way. Uh, and that's what I'm thinking along the lines of could we use any of this money towards that effort versus, you know, that Navajo money is going to have to come from somewhere. I know we're talking about uh, G4 or what have you, but, you know, like, this is an opportunity. We might need to look at that. Well, I think we'll, we can look at all of them. And I think the question really comes down to is if once we receive the grant, if there's another project need that comes up that may take the precedence, would we be able to move projects? Correct. I think we would probably need to get the answer to that. That's really the question. And we will check that. All right. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Dowd.